Brigade West Marine Corps KC-130 um, refueling aircraft number 16441 arrived at Shannon Airport on April the 11th, coming from Naval Air Station in Florida, stayed overnight in Shannon, took off on the 12th, heading towards the Middle East with its unknown cargo. It landed in Crete and subsequently yesterday moved on to Bahrain. This demonstrates that Shannon Airport has been used directly by the US military to actively support Israeli military aggressions against Palestine. As well as having these US military planes in Shannon, on the air number N477AX landed on Shannon about 8.50 yesterday, 13th of April, coming from Baltimore in the US. It refueled and took off again um, and was last seen flying over Egypt heading towards the Gulf States. We will be reading a statement later up at the Garda barrier um, calling on the Irish government not to bother searching, in fact, US military planes, but to stop all US military planes coming through Shannon Airport. <laughs> it's not just that a breach of Irish neutrality is relatively important. These nuances in international law are being totally ignored anyway. What is important is to stop the killing of innocent people, especially children, on a huge scale. And that's why, why I think most of us are here today. Killing an adult like me, I'm almost 80 years of age, you only remove a small portion of my life. Killing a child, you remove the vast majority of its life and all of its human rights. And that is appalling. And we are facilitating genocide, but particularly facilitating the killing so far probably in the region of 15 to 20,000 children may well have already been killed in Gaza. Thank you very much so far and thank you for coming from all parts of Ireland. We appreciate that. Thanks Ed. For those of you not familiar with the technicalities of what is going through Shannon, there are what are called U.S. military contracted planes, like the ones that Ed mentioned, that are operated by companies like Omni Air International. They have troops and their personal weapons on board, and the government has had to admit that, and that is well documented. There are also planes that are operated directly by the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy, the U.S. military, coming through the airport. The, our government, the Irish government, uses the pathetic excuse that they rely on assurances from the American authorities that there are no weapons on that plane. Can any of us believe that the US Air Force go anywhere in the world without carrying weapons on their planes? Of course not. There are weapons on those planes, but the authorities turn a blind eye, refuse to look at what's on those planes. So I'm now going to ask Roger Cole from Peace Neutrality Alliance to say a few words. Thank you. The Peace and Neutrality Alliance and the Irish anti-war movement organised the first demonstration at Shannon Airport in 2002 during the time of the Iraq War. And let me assure you this crowd is a hell of a lot bigger. So congratulations for turning up. I've also been to Palestine on the invitation of Ali Hamani, who was the ambassador of Palestine at the time. But what's happening now has no comparison whatsoever to what was happening to the Palestinians when I visited Palestine. It's straightforward genocide. I'm going to now invite Zoe Lawler, chairperson of the Ireland-Palestine Solidarity Campaign, to say a few words. And just before she does as well, I want to say that we invited all of the public representatives, all the TDs and MEPs to come here today. A few have arrived, and I'm very grateful. We're very grateful to them for doing so. If there are some here that would like to say a few short words after Zoe, please come up to us here and we'll, we'll facilitate that. Zoe, over to you. 
<laughs> Sorry to my Limerick friends who just can't get away from me. Um, thanks, John. <coughs> so for years, every month, we have protested at this airport at successive Irish governments letting the US military use a supposedly civilian airport for the illegal invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan, for mass murder and war crimes all over the world, for rendition of people to US torture spots to Guantanamo. And for years, our government has shamefully been complicit in these crimes and has ignored the will of the majority of people here who object to this. It is against our will and against our constitution. But because of this, Ireland is not a neutral country. We have been and are complicit in the murder, murder, injury, displacement, and destruction of the lives of millions of people. At this airport, we have had vigils, marches, peace camps, actions, direct actions, and some of our best comrades have been imprisoned for their actions and refusal of Ireland's complicity in the US murder machine. And we owe a debt of gratitude to the people who have been doing this and who have consistently and insistently protested Ireland being part of the war machine. And none more so than Ed Horgan and John Lannan <laughs> who track this military activity, who organize us, who go to court, who support activists, who keep us all informed and keep us protesting the use of Shannon Airport. And we have to thank them sincerely. And all the actions lately, occupying the airport terminal, naming the children in the terminal, the three activists who went on the runway, are all part of this proud legacy. And we have to keep it up. We cannot stop now, especially now. We cannot continue to allow this state to be complicit in genocide. Our government cannot have it both ways. They cannot put up a facade of supporting Palestine while continuously refusing to sanction Israel for its crimes against the Palestinian people, while blocking the legislation to hold Israel accountable, and while it is enabling the US military. We demand meaningful action. They must enact the legislation. They must sanction Israel. They must demand an end to EU-Israel trade agreement, and we must stop trading with Israel. Ireland's trade with Israel has actually increased lately. Palestine! 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 Palestine!
continue to read, the people of Palestine have suffered ethnic cleansing, thefts of land and property, and war crimes by Israel since 1948. They have as much right to defend themselves as have the people of Israel, yet the international community has consistently failed to vindicate their rights. The hugely disproportionate response to a mass attacks on the 7th of October last by the Israeli government and its military forces it has been actively supported by the United States and its NATO and other allies has resulted in very serious war crimes and should result in the finding of genocide by the International Court of Justice. In the light of all this, calls for inspections and searches of US military painted aircraft are no longer adequate. The continuing misuse of cannon airport by aircraft associated with US military since 7th of October 23 makes the Irish state and the Irish government complicit in war crimes and the problem of their genocide by Israel against the Palestinian people because the US has been actively supporting Israel with weapons, munitions and political support. The Irish government must now take action to end the US military use of Canaan Airport immediately and this must be on a permanent basis.